This week, one of the world's greatest investors made a profound comment. He said the world is driven by envy. In other words, not just their desires, but people's decisions are driven by what they perceive around them, what they perceive will make them happy, what they perceive someone else has. But at the very same time, more people than ever are saying that they're unfulfilled, they're dissatisfied, they're not truly happy. See, we have to recognize so much of this age of deception is misleading. Let me give you a great example. Recently, my wife and I were with friends at a rooftop lounge in Sarasota, Florida. And across the way, this young lady is repeatedly taking selfies. See, she was working to capture that image that would portray fun, carefree life for her followers. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not against fun. That's why we were on the rooftop lounge. But it was ironic the amount of effort she was going to to create this image of this relaxed lifestyle. We have to recognize that everything that God has ordained the world has a counterfeit, and that counterfeit can seem so real, so enticing. And it can cause us to miss out on all that God has for us. Interestingly, Matthew 24, so the boys, the disciples, the boys come to Jesus and they ask him, what are the signs of the times? They were asking, what would the end times look like? Among other things, one of the things that Jesus said was, the love of many will grow cold. In other words, people would be drawn away by their own desires. We recognize that we live in a time where things create an illusion of bringing happiness and fulfillment, but frankly, they're hollow. So how do we find true success? How do we find fulfillment? What's well, recognized here, first off, God's plan for His people is that they would have meaningful, successful lives. And I'll share what I mean. But how do we get there? How do we do that? Well, this is the perfect season for us to refocus and refine the vision of our lives. So how do we have that meaningful and successful life? Well, first off, we have to recognize, be reminded, God says repeatedly that as we seek first Him, as we focus on Him and His kingdom, all the other stuff is added to us. The recognition that that stuff is fun, it's entertaining, but it's not the emphasis. It's all about the focus on Him. But also the recognition that God created each one of His people with a unique gifting, a unique call, a unique purpose on their life. See, success is fulfilling the call and the purpose that God has placed on someone's life. Living that out as success, that is what brings fulfillment, contentment, true happiness. The other stuff's fun, but it's not what creates that contented, fulfilled, successful life. And we recognize that, how do we know? How do we recognize when we're fulfilling that call and that purpose? Well, just like God's paradigm is about focused on others. See, the world's counterfeit wants us to focus on us and what we think will make us happy. But God's paradigm is the exact opposite. See, God doesn't focus on Him. He focuses on his people. He gave everything for His people. And when we reflect that paradigm, then we know we're in the right focus. We're in the right direction. See, as we live out our call, our purpose, as we fulfill that gifting in our life, it will impact others around us. It will bring hope to others around us. It will bring hope to situations. And then through that hope, God can bring life and transformation.